So, what's up, guys? I finally got the scholar box. It finally came in. So, I just want to see what's inside. Okay, I'm about to open it. Let's see what's inside. <gasps> what is this? Oh, well, they, they fell on the paper ripper, but what is this? Okay. So, let's look at, oh, uh, who's the feature artist? Oh, that's pretty art. This bot, that's the feature artist. Oh, this must be about, this must be some watercolors. I think this is, because at first, as soon as I see that box, I was like, oh, wait, what's this? In the box, well, okay, whatever. Because as soon as I see this box, Grandma, I was like, this, I know that's watercolor. I got some new watercolors. What do you open feed? Okay. Okay. I don't know. That's Jesus. That's a nine, I think. I don't know. <laughs> okay, yeah, it is right. It's the Duran. It's the Duran Ink of Five Pat set. This is a travel paint set. Contains the unique instant formal found in Duran pencils. They candy. They yeah, they say candy in there. So yeah, I was right. This is. Well, I don't know if I eat that candy now. What dog? Yeah, that'd be wrong, something wrong with it. Oh my gosh, girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of dirty. That's like, is that one with the water? Yeah, that's the, I already have one of these. So, this one comes with it. And the sponge is supposed to help absorb water and pigment from your work. I know. What's yeah. that right there? I'm getting to it. That's the eraser. That is the, I don't know how to pronounce that, extra soft needed eraser oh my gosh is this an eraser where people oh, that is the eraser where people put it in a ball you can shape it how you want to read and see oh my gosh tear off a spark cutter and work with it between your fingers to warm it up and then shape it to a point you like and pr press to the page to cut out a, a book out for lip piece. Yeah, and then you do it. But don't do it tonight. I'm mm -mm. not, bro. You got time, but think at home. Okay, I'm recording. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh, let's see what's the colors. That's cute. They could keep it okay. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we got a sun yellow right here. We got mango, which is orange. We got poppy red. We got dark plump. We got, I don't know how to pronounce that, this is, no, that's a blue. This was a bright blue. Uh, this is a racing green, that's a teal green, that's cool. Kiwi, that is burnt yellow arch, natural brown, and ink black. I never used one of these sponge before. Usually, I don't know why it's so dusty. Kind of, I think it's because of this paper right here was making it that way. But it's good. It was going to get messy anyway because it's watercolor. And there, there's this pencil, which is a I don't why do I don't know how to pronounce word. But just know this is a graphite pencil 2B. Uh, here, this is what it looks like. I'm pretty sure y'all can see that because the camera up close. This is a water sub. Ooh, what kind of what kind of pencil is that? It's the idea for sketching using watercolor and also completing water technique. Oh, okay. Break resistant. Okay, let's see if it's break resistant when it comes to me because I'm hard handed. Complete when brush with water. Be aware of how heavy or where the works is pimming when you start adding water, your color to your work. You should just like sketch it and erase it anything you don't need before you start okay thank you for telling me that and then we got some don't have an ultra smooth watercolor paper so let's see the watercolor paper i just wanted to know what that was okay and i got my sticker you already know i collect stickers so Uh, the paper kind of messed up. I guess I just use the other side. Ain't no shame. Uh, I think it only comes with two pieces. It's ripped in half. Uh, I don't know if that's on purpose or that's an accident. I don't know. 
the theme is watercolor whatever this month we have supplied you with everything you need to pay whatever creation and inspired creation you may find okay so the scholar challenge is fall okay so when i was making this um i didn't know what to come up with i was just I don't know, like, the challenge was a false prayer thing, so I was like, I guess i come up with something that has to do with, I guess, false prayer, but we get to that soon. So, when I was using the pencil and stuff, it was good and stuff, like, I was trying to write lightly, because sometimes I do it hard, but when I, was, when I was watercoloring, I didn't want it to, like, be all black, so... I had to be like light with it. I don't know how to explain it. I just had to be light. And it was like super hard to draw hands and stuff. I don't know what it is, but I can't draw hands half the time. And that eraser, like you see me keep like messing with it and stuff, is because I'm a hard handed. So when I was rubbing it and stuff, like it kept squishing itself. So I was like kind of getting irritated. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so irritating. And then at the end, I don't know if I have this on recording, but I ended up, like, mashing it into a big ball for what for it can, like, s stop, um, squish it every time I do it. Okay, so back to the drawing. So this false prayer thing, I was, like, I was looking at pictures, and then I seen a picture on Google that somebody have both their hands and they're, like, holding a cross. And I was like, oh, I got an idea. So, I didn't put two hands, I just put one. So, since it's a false prayer thing, I was thinking, oh, let me draw somebody holding a cross, and then I watercolor to make it look like their hands are like burning and bleeding because it's a false prayer, get it? And they're, and they're trying to claim something they're not, so, and like, I guess the cross knows that. Cause I'm like, you, you like get it. I don't know if you get it, but it's just like, I was like, false prayer and stuff. You know, when certain people touch the cross, they say it burns them, or if some a certain person walks inside a church, they burn. So I was like, that's why I also got the concept. And so when I was in the watercolor at first, I was gonna um, do it this light color. Like, I think I was using the color yellow. I mean, I don't... No, that wasn't the color yellow. I think, uh... I don't... Oh, yeah. I was doing it with some brown, as you see in the thing. And then I later changed that, and I just, like, mixed the brown and the white, and I made the skin color that I wanted. And then, you can see me mixing it. Mix, mix, mix. <laughs> And then, I was, oh, I didn't even know white in the palette. Why did I say white? I'm sorry. I, I recorded this, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm forgetting. I don't know. It was that tan color and the brown that I was mixing together. And, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good and stuff. At the end of it, I was like, I took the watercolor pencil, and I outlined it. I, if I got impatient, so I just dipped the watercolor pencil in the water and started outlining because I'm just, I'm just impatient sometimes. <laughs> and it was late, and I was like, let me get this old way where I can go to it. And then I just took the light red, and then I just put it on there and, it was, and mixing it and stuff with it. And I was putting it like in random spots and stuff, like... To make it look like you like the lighter spots that's where the burns are then the darkest part is like where you're bleeding but it's basically like bleeding everywhere anyway but you know, like some places are darker and lighter than the other and i think this turned out like really good i did not use that sponge thing because i didn't think i needed it for this thing and then here i am doing the gold cross and here is the finish 